Hi, I'm Neil Marshall. This is Trailers from Hell, and I'm here to talk about Battle Beyond the Stars. Uh, this was a sci-fi adventure movie released in the early 80s. It was produced by Roger Coleman, written by John Sayles, and directed by Jimmy Murakami. And uh, was very much part of the um, slew of films that came out to cash in on the Star Wars phenomena. And I think this is one of the best. So much of how you uh, perceive and love a movie is based on kind of when and where you first saw it. And I first saw Battle Beyond the Stars in a rundown Art Deco cinema that my dad used to take me to every once in a while to see these movies that he thought that I should you know, catch up on. He went to, took me to see uh, 2001 when I was about 10 years old. I didn't understand it, it scared the shit out of me, but I later came to appreciate what he did. And a couple of weeks later, he took me to see Battle Beyond the Stars. At that age, I really couldn't tell the difference between this and Star Wars. You know, I wasn't judging it on the quality of effects or the quality of whatever. I just thought it was equally awesome. And I still do, in a way. It's like, you know, now I see the difference, obviously, but it has a charm of its own. You know, it is the Magnificent Seven in space. It's pretty shameless about that. And, you know, it has so many cool things. It has, it has Space Cowboy. And you know, it also has like Sybil Danning in outrageous and highly revealing spacesuits, which uh, for a preteen boy, this was like fairly mind blowing and a far cry from prudish Princess Leia. I don't think it's any accident that Lucas kind of must have checked out the competition and put Leia in a metal bikini in Return of the Jedi. Do you like it? There's no dog in this. Mm -mm. Soybean meal, niacin, dextrose, and sodium nitrate flavoring. That's what we call meat back home. The other thing that I love about this movie is like some of the spaceship design is really weird. And even like the, the main spaceship is a, is a female spaceship. It has breasts, which is pretty, pretty bizarre for any science fiction movie, let alone a Roger Kimmel movie. The film stars Richard Thomas, who uh, was best known then and still for as being John Boy in The Waltons, uh, but also George Peppard, Robert Vaughan, kind of reprising exactly the same role he played in The Magnificent Seven. John Saxon plays a kind of organ-stealing villain who uh, is like a poster boy for bad plastic surgery. And it's just, I don't know, it's just a really kind of fun, inventive sci-fi movie. A couple of significant names in the credits with Battle Beyond the Stars, it has an absolutely brilliant score by James Horner. Uh, which I think it was his first feature score. And it's still one of his best. It's a brilliant score. And, and a lot of his work since then was heavily influenced by it. Um, and also, like Escape from New York, if you look at the credits, you'll spot a young James Cameron uh, who worked on some of the miniature effects for this. Battle beyond the stars. A battle beyond time, beyond space that ends in a desperate gamble. 